I made a video a few months back about the Fire 343 hashtag and the implications of what that actually meant. A lot of people were, you know, it was coming to a head. A lot of people were emotionally upset with how Halo Infinite was being handled, where Halo had gone under 343 and Microsoft, and what had, you know, been kind of a fall from grace. And I get it. I understand. A lot of people misconstrue that video as me being a 343 apologist or that I'm getting a check from 343 to, to be nice or whatever. But I, I feel like it's lost on those people that in the video and even in other videos, I talk about how I am, you know, upset with the direction that Halo has gone and what's happened to the franchise and I am very critical. So it's kind of weird that people attack me over that, but basically in that video, I said that Halo would go into a hibernation mode instead of it going to a new studio or developer and having a new Halo game within two years. That's, that's just not in the cards. It wasn't gonna happen. And people were not hearing that at all. But it looks like all the people that were super pro firing 343 finally got their wish. And we saw a lot of talented and Halo loving people fall under the huge layoffs that Microsoft implemented starting on January 18th. So yeah, if you haven't heard, there are reports that upwards of 60, 100, 130 people at 343 have lost their jobs. And that is awful. And I do hope that they are able to find themselves in new roles where they may succeed. A lot of those people love Halo. They've been there for, you know, over a decade. It is sad to see them go. I think a lot of people kind of lump 343 like everybody that works at 343 is to blame or whatever and that's just not the truth and we'll get more into that later on but i my heart goes out to all of them i hope that they're able to find success elsewhere but as this is a halo channel i know most of you want to know the future and the facts of what is really going on with halo and i've seen a ton of youtubers and a ton of people on social media just like spewing stuff out that's not necessarily true a lot of them are trying to get clicks and stuff, and I understand. A lot of people are worried. It's just causing this huge snowball effect of, you know, this is the end of Halo. We're seeing, you know, infinite Halo. Everything is just done now, and that's just not true. So my goal here is to help nullify those statements and help others understand what's going on. But before we get into the rest of the video, I will say, if you enjoy Halo content, go ahead and sub to the channel. We're trying to get to 15k. At this point, I don't know how many other people are going to be doing Halo on YouTube, so I could literally be your favorite Halo YouTuber at this point, so just go ahead and subscribe. I know 96% of you don't do it, but let's get back into the video. So probably the biggest blow that he has really, you know, upset a ton of people and made us think that this is the end is that Joe Staten is gone. But I feel like it's lost in the sauce that he was never going to just stay at 343. That was never what his position was. The, that position wasn't permanent. He's been known to do this role multiple times with other studios where he comes in, he fixes what's, you know, the trajectory of the game, he gets it across the finish line, he lays a foundation for the future, and then he goes back to publishing and then just kind of repeats the process. Am I sad? Yeah, of course. Like, that stinks. I would have loved to have seen what Joe would have done with the story in Halo, but it's just not his thing now and with his departure and the members of the campaign team pretty much gone from what i understand i think it's safe to say that we won't be seeing campaign dlc or a new story from 343 in the next three to 40 years at least and that sucks because i definitely wanted to see the story of infinite continue but maybe this doesn't mean that the single player co-op side is done and maybe this is where we see those wishes that another studio takes on the mantle of the single player side and we get those other stories. So who knows? I mean, I just made a video on that asking if other developers needed to, to work on Halo IPs. And I really do feel like that's the direction it's going in. I've heard rumors that, you know, 343 might take on a, more of a publisher role and facilitate all the media that is Halo instead of just working on the game and all the other stuff. So I do think that that's kind of the direction we're, we're going to see. I mean, Certain Affinity is working on that BR mode, but we'll get more into that in the multiplayer section. But time will tell. And that's the thing with a lot of this stuff is I'm getting a lot of this information from people that I trust that are definitely in the know. And I, I feel like as of right now, this is the current trajectory of what is happening. So anything is subject to change. But 
as of right now, this was this is what is happening, and I'm definitely this isn't going to be the only video on it, so we'll definitely keep up to date. But anyways, multiplayer is not done right now with Infinite. At this very moment, Infinite will continue to move forward with its live service multiplayer, its seasonal narrative events, and we're gonna get that certain Affinity game mode in the future. I know a lot of people have speculated that Season 4 was already cancelled and the BR is probably going to get cancelled and not come out at all. And I, I understand that they have sources as well, but I just everyone I've spoken to has pretty much confirmed to me that Season 4 is it's done, pretty much, and that the plans are to keep going forward for the immediate future. Like, obviously, if the Certain Affinity game mode comes out and it's not well received then i think that that is the the end of the halo infinite era and that's when the game will really go into hibernation mode a former 343 employee also had this to say his name is patrick wren um i follow him on twitter he seems like a great dude he's working at respawn on star wars stuff now so that's really cool but he said the layoffs at 343 should not have happened and that halo infinite should be in a better state the reason for both of these things is incompetent leadership up top during Halo Infinite development, causing massive stress on those working hard to make Halo the best it can be. The people I worked with every day were passionate about Halo and wanted to make something great for the fans. They helped push for a better Halo and got laid off for it. Devs still there are working hard on that dream. Look at Forge, be kind to them during this awful time. And I think that that's something that we need to all look at. Peter just took over as the head of 343. And honestly, this is that restructuring. You want to hire people that you want to hire at this point. I, I feel like a lot of this is from Microsoft. A lot of this was going to happen regardless. We've seen a ton of people already, you know, leave 343, whether on their own or from, you know, other reasons. So I am not as doom and gloom on this. I, it would be super easy to make uh, an extremely negative Halo video right now. And I won't lie, you know, yesterday when all this information was coming out and all these tweets, I was super sad, I was disheartened, I was, you know, worried about the future of Halo, and I'm sure a lot of you are as well. And we're going to get more information as it goes on. I'm sure that there are going to be a lot of articles written from anonymous employees that are are going to be, you know, shared, and I, I just feel like we're going to get a real sense of the picture. I think a lot of us have realized over time that it's not just like the people who work on halo that was a problem a lot of it came from leadership and a lot of that leadership has left maybe this is where the the new age of halo is gonna start the only time will tell let me know in the comments down below how you all feel i'm i'm super interested to know where everybody's heads at on this um like i said i'm pretty upset for the people that lost their job i feel for them being an adult and in this economic time, it's, it's hard. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace!